So very first thing you're gonna notice when you take one of these for a drive is getting into the car. One finger, just a little touch, and there it goes. I'm Justin Pritchard for driving.ca. This is the 2022 Lexus NX350, and in this video, the delightful surprises start before you even hop on board. Walk up to the all new for 2022 Lexus NX350 and try the door handle. That handle hoop is fixed in place, but there's a thin, slim touchpad concealed on its backside. The slightest squeeze prompts a tiny electronic click, and the door is freed from its latch. So the first time you open the door, you'll go in for a big grab and pull, but find the door releases with little more effort than clicking the button on a computer mouse. It's a delightful little surprise. Another, exiting the vehicle. That's just the reverse. A similarly light press on the slim interior door handle pops the door from its latch electronically. All four of the doors work this way, allowing occupants to board and exit using nothing more than a single fingertip. If you've got arthritis or a hand or wrist injury, the NX's electronic latches can make life especially easy every time you board and exit. Speaking of which, the just right ride height and seating position means that most occupants will board by simply sliding sideways and into their seat. No need to climb up or plop down. That's minimal effort to open the door, followed by minimal effort to get into your seat. The gear shifter slashes effort too. It's a joystick, not a lever. You pick the gear you want with just a few millimeters of fingertip movement. Left and down for drive, left and up for reverse, and a small click on the P button for park. So even before you get moving, there are numerous signals that this machine intends to be very easy and straightforward to operate. Seems like Lexus was keen to make the latest NX feel very inviting and very easy to use. Other examples of the trend include the one-touch-every-time cruise control button that locks your speed in place with no need to pre-activate the system or fiddle with anything else in any way. The digital rearview mirror provides a wide-angle camera feed, dramatically enhancing rearward visibility, with no obstruction to your view. The backup camera, located on the central screen, gets an ultra-wide viewing angle for maximum awareness and peace of mind when maneuvering in tight quarters. And the graphics of both the backup camera and camera rearview mirror are top of the line, adding to the effectiveness of each system. The interior is one of the NX's most valuable assets. On one hand, it's beautifully trimmed and assembled in typical Lexus fashion. Glossy plastic accents and metallic trim intersect in a layer with stitched leather and a playful use of texture and color to convey a rich and high-end feel. There's something nice to look at or touch just about everywhere your eyes and fingers might go exploring. Using virtually any of the stocks, knobs, or dials inside is met with a dense, high-quality feel and sound, too. They've also done a great job of making sure that all of the buttons and dials and switches and things that you can interface with in here have a solid and high-quality feel to them. Let me show you what that sounds like. Ahead of the driver, it's two of the best displays I've recently encountered in a luxury crossover. The all-digital instrument cluster has a sporty, rounded design that reacts to the selected drive mode and displays information neatly in an interface that's compact, dynamic, and easy to read. Above, a bright and vivid head-up display projects vital running data into the driver's line of sight, floating just above the vehicle's hood. This display is on top of its game, too. Specifically, that head-up display is able to preview the driver's selection from the multi-function steering wheel controls below. Gently touch the control pads on the wheel and your selection is previewed in the head-up display. At a button press, the context and function of the steering wheel control pads can be altered and again previewed on the HUD above. Basically, you see what you're about to click before you click it, without taking your eyes off of the traffic ahead. So over a dozen functions, including the position of the HUD itself, can be manipulated from two steering wheel mounted control pads, and all with no distraction. This is one of the most clever uses of a head-up display that I've ever seen, and it takes the second guessing right out of working numerous advanced functions on the go. 
The infotainment system display is another major touch that's on top of its game. The central screen is glossy, vivid, and crisp. Graphics are sharp as attack. Response and precision from the touchscreen interface is as good as you'll find in a card today. And the screen's highly polished surface allows your fingertip to smoothly slip, slide, and glide in every direction. If you regularly use a high-end tablet during the day, you'll find a similar feel here on your drive. Wireless Android Auto takes about 10 seconds to set up and works like a charm too. So here's one of the best infotainment systems I've ever used next to one of the best head-up displays I've ever used. And if, like me, you're a sucker for cool tech and gadgets, I think you'll find yourself very nicely supported by this machine. It's adequately spacious too, for adults will find sufficient space, though headroom will begin to run out fairly quickly for those much taller than about 5'11". I found the rear seats offered plenty of leg and knee room at 5'10 and 200 pounds, and I could sit comfortably behind myself with no issue, and rear seats are just as easy to board and exit as those up front. <laughs> My tester ran Lexus's new turbocharged four-cylinder gasoline engine, a 2.4-liter unit with 275 horsepower and 317 pounds of torque. That's good for 0 to 100 in about 7 seconds, and there's a new all-wheel drive system this year that's more intelligent and better optimized to a wider range of driving styles. An 8-speed automatic transmission is standard equipment. The Turbo 4 is pleasingly gutsy, especially where its generous low-end snap fires it out of merge lanes and on-ramps with little more than a half jab on the throttle. Abundant low-rev torque means less need to get the engine spinning fast, and lighter-footed drivers will enjoy pleasing response and relatively low noise levels from under the hood. So this engine feels the part where output is concerned, though shoppers after a pleasing soundtrack from their crossover SUV, or conversely, the quietest four-cylinder engine out there, do have better options. The new Lexus Turbo 4 is big on torque, but not so big on either exciting sound effects or all-out refinement. The soft and easygoing suspension proved ideal for solid ride comfort over the crumbling city and back roads of my northern Ontario locale. Many luxury sport utes, and especially those with sportier intentions, take roads like this fairly harshly. On the other hand, it does take a pretty unforgiving surface to knock the NX's ride comfort down a few pegs. It pitter-patters over many of the frost heaves and potholes that crank and smash the suspensions in more stiffly sprung machines, and a generous amount of nicely controlled suspension travel keeps the body motions from getting too dramatic on lumpy or frost-heaved surfaces. Other than the odd whack or pop from the shocks on worst-case scenario roads, my tester felt comfortable, solid, and laid back on the sort of surfaces that can make many luxury crossover drivers grit their teeth. On my tester's standard suspension setup, things felt more comfortable than athletic. Lexus will sell you an F-Sport version of the NX with improved handling capabilities if you like. By the way, in addition to the F-Sport, there are also four-cylinder, hybrid, and plug-in hybrid versions of this machine. This means that drivers can enjoy one of the best infotainment suites on the scene, with whatever powertrain and handling configuration best suits their tastes. You'll hear more from me on this latest generation NX in the future, and particularly on the plug-in hybrid model. After my introduction to this latest generation machine, I figure the new for 2022 NX350 will connect most easily with the light-footed driver, whose main priorities include generous power and excellent ride comfort in most situations. Some shoppers might be left wishing for a little more headroom, but ultimately, here's a machine that's easy to use from tip to tail, and one with its display, infotainment, and graphics situation fully dialed into 2022 standards. It's a great place to relax, unwind, and maybe even take in a beautiful Northern Ontario sunset drive. By the way, most of the 2022 Lexus NX model range is Canadian built, too. Thank you for watching. My name's Justin Pritchard for Driving.ca. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button down below if you learned something new. And until next time, take care and drive safe.